I love science. Uh, I, uh, I teach chemistry for, I'm super passionate about chemistry, that's my number one love. And uh, if I can share that with students, then, uh, then uh, that's a great thing. Our labs are fantastic and uh, it's a really, really awesome teaching and learning space. There's plenty of room for students to spread out. It's a really comfortable environment. We do a lot of prac work. So your understanding of those chemical and physical concepts is, is enhanced by the prac that we do uh, and lots of demonstrations as well. So it's a very hands-on course, uh, which students really enjoy. Life Sciences too is a subject that um, is designed for students who have an interest in the life sciences, um, understanding how living things work. Um, it's a subject that is not demanding, so um, most of the work's done in the classroom. There's not a lot of homework. We cover a range of different topics. We look at cells and how the basic unit of life works. We look at body systems, particularly the human body system, and how our digestive system works, our circulatory system, that kind of thing. Um, we also look at how organisms interact with the world around them, so that's called ecology. It's very practical. Karen Bell is the best teacher I've ever had. She really helps you. I'm going to be studying nursing after I finish Year 12, so it was basically a lead up into biology. Biology 3 is a pre-tertiary subject, so it has an examination at the end of the year. It's obviously a lot more rigorous for that reason. Um, there's more homework, uh, more assignments, more tests. But a lot of students will do the Level 2 Life Sciences in Grade 11 and then choose to do Biology 3 in Grade 12 and that's a really good pathway. I teach Physical Sciences and Chemistry and um, with Physical Sciences that's a Grade 11 subject generally. Physical Sciences helps you understand the world. Um, students coming into Phys Sci will study five units and it's split evenly between physics and chemistry. Uh, so we, we look at um, the atom motion, conservation laws, chemical bonding and chemical quantities. Physical sciences is a pathway subject and you need to do that in year 11 in order to be able to study chemistry 4 and physics 4 in grade 12 if you're on that sort of a pathway to subjects at uni like medicine or engineering or um, science or allied health. I would definitely recommend PhysSci to other people because it's good for the future and it's good to learn about this kind of stuff and it, it's really helpful and it's just a fun course with the experiments. You really should have A's and B's in maths and English to be successful at PhysSci. If you're thinking that your pathway is leading where you need chemistry, and you haven't got the A's and B's in grade 10 in maths and English, then you might also think about combining physical sciences with physical sciences foundation. Uh, that's a level two subject then that can help do you develop the skills that you need to be successful in the pre-tertiary subject as well. All of our courses have a minimum prac requirement. Um, for life sciences too, we do um, an investigation which is an extended practical activity and all our other pracs are at least one lesson a week so roughly an hour and a half per week dedicated to practical activities. It's a very important part of what we do. So you're not only learning the science, you're learning those critical thinking skills and problem solving skills as well which are really important uh, for students to develop. Music